Uh, Brenda Hollingsworth is here. Welcome. Hi. Thanks Good to for have having, you here. Thanks for having me. You are a personal injury lawyer. I am. Are there many personal injury lawyers in this country? Uh, there are actually is that right? a surprising number. Yeah. Is it a growing number? Uh, I would say it is. Yeah. Probably. Yep. I'm just, uh, the, the reason I ask is personal injury is not something we commonly talk about in this country, True. is it? No, absolutely not. This... Do, you, do you find that funny? Uh, well, odd? it is interesting. I mean, it's very popular in the States and there's lots of TV shows about it, news items, so it yeah. is, it's much less commonly talked about here. I think, um, yeah, we're more familiar uh, as people in, on this continent with, um, uh, you know, hearing about um, people in the states suing each other constantly. Absolutely. Do we do the same thing in Canada? Uh, not to the same extent, yeah. but it is, I mean, it's certainly a segment of uh, the insurance industry. It's something that does happen. And, and claiming uh, personal injury or I guess comp being compensated for personal injury in, in whatever form is available to people. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And I don't think we, I shouldn't say take advantage, but you don't hear that many cases uh, no, I mean, one, Canadians. one thing is people don't talk about it the same way. There is a fair bit of uh, embarrassment or shame about bringing a personal injury suit. So it may be that your neighbors are doing it. You just don't know about it. Right. Um, because people, often people who come to see me, you know, are quite concerned that people are going to find out that they're suing. Really? Yeah. It, it surprises Which, me. Is that because we're Canadian? I think it is. Is it really? Yeah, it's just another manifestation of what we <laughs> see about the humility and everything else. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's interesting. What, what What's the difference then between, I mean, it, it seems in the States you can sue anybody for anything. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. What's the difference between that and the Canadian situation? Well, let's take car accidents as an example right. because that's sort of the most common way people are okay. injured in Canada. Um, in Ontario, and each province has its own regime, in Ontario uh, there are no-fault benefits. You've probably heard of that, but you may not know no what it is. No-fault insurance. That's it, no-fault insurance. So most of the benefits that people receive after a car accident are based on these no-fault benefits. So you actually use your own car insurance to get covered for things like physio, chiro, yes. your prescription. Your own insurance. Your own insurance. So that's the no fault, right? right? So even if you cause the accident, right. these benefits are still available to you. Okay. And depending on how seriously you're injured, they can be quite substantial. Yes. If you're catastrophically injured, you have a million dollars available to you for rehab. That's right. That's right. You yeah. see that on your insurance statement. That's right. Right? So that, that, that's available. Okay. But in addition to that, if you have a serious and permanent injury, in a car accident context, you can also sue the, the driver who is responsible for the accident. Okay, so if uh, Joe is responsible for uh, injuring me in a in a car crash, yep. in, a, in a collision of some sorts, then I can recoup um, money from him? As long as you meet if the I threshold. Win. Yeah, if you win and you meet the threshold. What's the threshold? So the th there's two parts to the threshold. The first one is you have to have a serious and permanent injury right. to an important part of your body. I haven't figured out which parts of your body aren't important. But serious and permanent injury. Yeah. And number I, I two, find most parts of mine important. Yeah, very few are not important. Right. Um, and then the other uh, threshold is that your damages have to be worth more than $30,000. And the reason for that is just to eliminate all the small claims. So those are the two prerequisites you got it. before you can launch any sort of personal injury claim. In the car accident context. In a car accident. Yeah. It, for other kinds of accidents, if you slip and fall, yeah. you can sue for $5,000. What, what other kind, Brenda, what other kinds of personal injury are there? Well, I yeah, mean, I mean, I'm sure it's a long list. It but. is. Um, probably slips and falls are the second most common type, at right. least that I see in my practice. So, right. you know, Ottawa, there's lots of slips and falls on, on the sidewalk. You got it. In front of my house? Uh, in front of your I'm house. I'm liable. Not if it's a city property, you're not. Really? It depends on different municipalities, different neighborhoods have different rules, but it depends on who's responsible for uh, maintaining where the person fell. If it's not you, you're okay. If it's your driveway, you're not okay.